today I'm going to talk about Grassy Fiddle Blues, a solo album by Kenny Baker. Now, Kenny Baker was a fiddler for Bill Monroe for decades, long time. Sometime in the 50s or 60s he started and he broke up with Bill in the 80s. So it was a long period of time. He didn't play on every track during that time, but he did a lot with Bill Monroe. And in the middle of that span, he made this album. I'm not sh I don't think this was, I know this was not his only solo album, but he did this, and the instrumentation on it is like a regular bluegrass band. There's a mandolin, a banjo, guitar, and bass, and it's not just all fiddle, there are breaks. It sounds like a Bill Monroe album without the singing. There's no singing, it's all instrumental, but other than that, it sounds just like Bill Monroe. <laughs> And it's a shame that he didn't get Bill Monroe to play mandolin for this. So I'll go through the tracks a little bit here. So it starts off with Grassy Fiddle Blues, the title track. And that's followed by Ducks in the Mill Pond. And then Carnival Waltz. Then Lazy Liz, which is a double fiddle tune. He has one of the... For a couple of songs, it has the mandolin guitar player switch off, and sometimes one of them is playing the double fiddle. And this is one track that that happens. Then Baker's Breakdown, and then Flora, Flora, Flopparino? Can't pronounce that. Yeah, Flopparino. Uh, Baker's Breakdown, according to the credits, was written, co written by Kenny Baker and Bill Monroe. Anyway, let's look at the other side. So this tells you who the who the instrumentalists were. There's Bob Black on banjo, Joe Stewart on guitar, Ralph Lewis on mandolin, and Randy Davis on bass. And you know, a couple of those tracks, the mandolin guitar switch places, and sometimes they switch places so one of them can play double fiddle. So. The second side starts off with Katie Hill, a traditional fiddle tune, which is famous for a version that Bill Monroe recorded, but Kenny Baker was not the fiddler who fiddled that particular track back then. That was back in the early 40s. Uh, I think it was Tommy Magaha or Magnus, I'm not sure. but. Tommy played it much faster than Kenny does here, but Kenny plays it pretty fast. And that's followed by Midnight, which is a double fiddled tune. And then Ball and Chain Hornpipe. This it's not a traditional one, it's an it, a original one written by co written by Baker and Winwood. And then Ron Run Johnny Run. Then Kentucky Waltz, which is a Bill Monroe song. And Bill Monroe, when he does it, he sings it. And there's instrumental breaks, but it's a sung song. This is all instrumental, and I think I prefer Kenny Baker's all instrumental version over Bill Monroe's. And finally, the second side ends with Misery Road. Uh, it's named after that state, you know. Um, some people pronounce it Missouri, some people pronounce it Missouri, but people who live there pronounce it Misery. Anyway, Grassy Fiddle Blues, a recommended instrumental album. It's good stuff. I've heard another Kenny Baker album that has better stuff, but this one's good too.